Welcome to Old Guy. And Young Guy. Yeah. And Young Guy. You started without me a bit. Uh, well, that's all right. You know, hey. Hey, I'm fast. you're fast. You gotta move. Gotta move. Yeah. Um, Death's creeping behind you. Okay. Okay. Uh, now I forgot what we were saying. <laughs> <laughs> what I'd like to talk about is how things have changed monumentally. And my perception is, is in the old days, uh, the top level people, they knew what systems and what things had to be done and learned, and the young people really didn't bring anything. Now, was this pre-splitting the atom? Or? Yes, okay. this, before atoms. Okay, before okay. atoms were in, discovered. If you had told me 20 years ago uh, there wouldn't be records or CDs, the tangible, tangible music, the entertainment it, devices, it's all ba pretty much just digital files that really don't have a... Any mass. <laughs> 20 years ago, if you told me I would have a phone in my pocket. Right, that can be stronger, that's more powerful than a computer. More powerful you, than what took when people you were to born. the moon. <laughs> that's true. Things like that. That's so, true. You know, the, just the fact that if you look, it's happening so fast that we just absorb it. But, you know, truly, uh, magazines, newspapers, the print versions, they're going to go away here shortly. Yeah, I mean, I think there's going to always be a, a side of print, there's always going to be a need of labor like we discussed before. So I think like there are, like direct mail is still a very strong a advertising. Um, fortunately the QR code didn't work out, but there, but facial recognition is becoming a thing where you can open a di digital uh, direct mail ad and hold your phone up to it and it'll suddenly take you to a website. And I guess the point is to, is to be adaptable and versatile. And to business owners, to even employees looking for jobs, the, the, the biggest asset that you can have is adaptability. Be able to walk into any situation and say, all right, I know the basics of Facebook, I know the basics of uh, direct mail advertising, just kind of learning some basics. And just online, you can find all that information. There are free online there. courses that you can take. Just being informative and don't get stuck in a rut because that is the worst place to be when it comes to you know, either losing your job, not getting a job, coming out of college with an arts degree or something. I mean, I was there. I came out of college with a film degree, but yet I was able to manage it into corporate video, and now there's a, which is a booming business, you know? So it's all about being adaptable, versatile, and being able to see where the market's headed being and what, what is in demand now. And uh, especially if you're looking for a job, have, note your resume per your employer and put what you're good at and what you know. Make it, make it, that's what they care about. They don't care that you, you know, may have won employee of the year. I mean, that's important, but the most important is what you're going to be able to do with them. Mm -hmm. So if you know Facebook, if you know Twitter, if you know uh, TV if advertising. You, if you know how to connect with people. Yes. If that's that another good one. That's what brings in business. Absolutely. People would rather do business with people they know, even if they only know them remotely through uh a social media platform. You're, you're a marketing you're a marketing guy. If you were hiring a marketing assistant, if the, if some, would you want people to put how many Twitter followers they have on their resume? Do you think that's in? Is that more important necessarily than where they went to college? I mean, I think it's important that you went to college and finished. But having if you have five thousand Twitter followers, and I mean that's pretty. I mean that's pretty well, good. I mean, not, I mean for ba for not being a celebrity. But I hire people for what they can do. That's true. I don't really but they care can where obviously, they learned it. Well, they can obviously command a Twitter audience. If but we just say that would be audience, at least the line item on if, a resume. If it's significant, yeah, I would look at it. Yeah, maybe if you had, if you had, maybe they could tell you, uh, say how many retweets you had if you're really good at Twitter. Say how many people follow you on Facebook. Um, well, I mean, you have to understand there's still a major shift happening, so it depends on the age and knowledge of the person you're talking to. That's true. So as you move up toward my end, there's people who still don't understand the significance of Twitter right. or Pinterest right. or Snapchat or anything else. And that's the reason it's val you're valuable is because they don't understand and they're behind. Right. They're behind on that curve of what's needed to be relevant going forward as a business in the future. So if they don't know that what they don't know, how does somebody how can somebody I guess have those skills but then also tell their either their employers or the people they are interviewing with or a client of ours. What if how do we how can we tell clients of ours what they don't know? If they don't know the importance of Twitter, they're not going to appreciate that we have 5,000 followers. Well, if, here's the thing. If you can help a client and produce more customers in the end, that's right. going to be the proof. So say but, you have... But some people are just not going to get it until right. it's too late. That's true. And you don't want to work for them anyway because they're going to go out of business. That's true. 
And what good is it getting a job for a few years when they're out of business? That's true. So, all right. So I guess the point is, is to know your audience. That means your employers or your uh, interviewers. Know who you're going to talk to. Know who you're, cl who you're targeting client-wise. And be able to adapt. Just adapt to uh, market situations. Know what the current trends are for uh, digital, know the, the current YouTube videos, the styles is my thing, uh, you know, hey, this, this style works out, this style will be good for this industry, uh, that kind of thing. And I think that would be a, you, you really can't lose with that if you, if, you, if you keep that in mind throughout. And the, the more you know, the more yeah. options you have. Absolutely, absolutely. And just be as adaptable as possible and learn, learn, learn. This is an ever- You never stop learning. Constant, growing digital industry Every week there's something new. Every week. But every week it's posted online. Every, all the information is just out there for free. There's really no reason to, to not, not know. know something. Yeah. If you're, you gotta, basically, you got to do your homework. I mean, that's unfortunate because I wasn't good at homework in school. <laughs> but, but now you're interested. I in am interested. I am making money off of it. If they just told me that I could make money off of homework, then I would have been better but at it. But they didn't so. know that back then. Yeah. That's our next video, <laughs> Should Schools Pay Kids? For homework. What are your thoughts? Uh, be sure to tell us below and continue the conversation. We maybe we'll bring them up in our next video.